Thank you. Welcome, everyone. This is a special meeting of the Board of Trustees and for North Idaho College, and we're called to order again on Thursday, August 31st, 2023, at 1833, and a quorum is present. We're resuming from a, a failed attempt at executive session from earlier that we reconvened uh, to give the public time to observe and a, a steady time to show up. So please rise with me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Trying to hang Mr. Mackey, you need a hand out? Hand, hand it up. Hand out the paper. Everyone? Okay. All trustees and president, you should have a piece of paper in front of you. Uh, regarding, do you have the piece of paper? Everyone has a piece of paper? I have not. What, no, what? I gave him the card. <sighs> okay, let's hand it out. Okay. All right, regarding the personnel matter and the action item, I need a motion to authorize Art Mackmer under direction of the chair to negotiate terms of settlement for presentation to the board for board approval. If I have, may have that motion, play, uh, please say so moved. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second for discussion. Trustee Wagoner, thank you. Uh, under discussion is the Motion to authorize Art Mackimer under direction of the chair to negotiate terms of settlement for presentation to the board for approval. Is there anyone who wishes to be recognized? Mr. Chairman. Trustee um, Corkle. How, how, how can we settle on something that um, so far isn't really defined as an issue? Uh, at the, at the very best, uh, we have a mere accusation. And to settle on an so, accusation. Trustee Corkle, this is not to directly approve a, a settlement, because you're right. You're no, it's to authorize you to settle. It's authorize you to negotiate terms do you, of settlement. Do you, do you not see that it comes back to the board for approval? Yeah, I see that. But okay, so why, that's why would we even negotiate nope. something like this? I mean, it's it's a mere accu accusation. I mean, why why if, negotiate? Sir, if you want to talk about this in executive session, no. then we can go into executive session. No. I know what the two issues. I know what the two issues are before the board right now that require executive session. Executive if you session would even meeting. not even list the number of issues before the board, that would be appreciated. And none of them are worth considering at this point. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to be recognized? Chair McKenzie. Trustee Zimmerman. Um, I have a lot of problems with, with what you're putting forth here. Okay. You don't negotiate terms of a settlement for an accusation for something that is unfounded. We have an investigation underway. We don't have okay. the results. All of this now you're going to interrupt me. I'm sorry. I'm all of this talking. could have been what? said in executive session. It does session. not need to be said in executive session. I have every right and was elected to say it in open meeting. Are you going to continue to interrupt you me? You have a fiduciary duty. You were dealing you with highly have a paid fiduciary indi individual duty. duty. All three of you have a fiduciary duty. We're dealing with all highly paid individuals. Will you please quit interrupting me? Thank you. Will you please allow if, discussion if were, in executive it's session? It's obvious that you're afraid of what I'm going to say because you're trying to shut me up. Thank you, Greg. Now I'm going to continue. You don't negotiate a settlement for an unfounded allegation. These claims by this person are unfounded, and I think that when we get the results back from the investigation, there probably will be proven that they're unfounded. So to move forward and negotiate with something is completely irresponsible. It is not following your fiduciary duty, uh, any of you, and you all do know that. You, you're, just, you're asking the taxpayer to pay for something that's not been proven? That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then if you're going to ask Art to do it, well, I think he's got a big conflict of interest in this case. I don't think he should be the one working with this particular employee at all. There are two places where he has a conflict of interest. 
And that, I will wait for executive session if we go into, but I think that you probably know what they are, Art, and you should back away from this, as I've said in other, at other times, you should back away from this. Um, you are breaching your fiduciary duty if you move forward with this. Um, I would like to know if you have brought forth this uh, claim to the insurance company. Has it gone through any of the processes that are normal operations? Because this right now is we're jumping the gun. Yes, it has. And what has insurance said? And they, who brought it to insurance? They, they look into the claim like any other insurer. And if you were in executive session. Greg, quit throwing that in my face. We, you, would, you would hear that. We don't, we don't need to have that for executive session. What is so confidential that you can't tell me right now what insurance said? Do they, did they give you the advice to move forward with this claim to negotiate a settlement? Did they say that they're going to back us on that with this decision? They didn't say anything back yet, but I notified them in March the claim was made. They are following up on the claim. They are looking forward to the investigation by the college to see what it turns up. And the, in, the investigation is apparently um, close to fruition. And so I would expect that bringing the board any terms for anything would be based on what is in the investigation. That's the proper way to do it, and that's the way we're doing it. It's proper, well, and frankly, Terry, so I don't know why you think I have conflicts of interest. Well, I, I'm happy to talk to you about that. Well, say aside. it in public then, if you think so, because I don't think I do. I might disclose the person who is bringing the lawsuit against us, for one. I am I, not. And I don't want to do that. Well, out of respect I, for that person. I'm going to just unilaterally disclaim any conflict of interest, and if you want to go make your case in public, you okay, can do so that. Okay, so you're working to defend a person who's bringing Trusty, a suit Trusty against Zimmerman. the college. I'm actually you not. not be I, don't that. I don't know where you get that idea. I don't know where you get that idea. I'm not the only one that has that idea. Well, it's a wrong idea. I cleared it up with Marie Dolan at the press today, and I, she thanked I'm, me for clarification. I don't, I don't care what you say to the press. Okay. We're, oh, you so you're going to stick to the motion before the board instead of what well, we're talking we're, about we're now. Well, we're trying to get what I, Trustee what I Zimmerman okay. to understand. I'm going to just clarify no, what everyone's talking about. Continue. You two are talking. She made an allegation. Attorney McAmer denies that allegation. That's pretty clear. Okay, so All right. moving but on. I'm not the done board. yet. Anything the, else to the, say? the case is still under investigation. The claim is still under investigation. We should not move forward to negotiate terms of a settlement. Let this individual sue the college. It happens all the time, all across the country. Let's just let things unfold as they are. I don't know, does anybody want to open their bank account? I think the sum, can I say the sum? Yeah. $1.3 million? Oh. That's on the taxpayer's why, back? Why are we, why are we? Terry, it is, it is usually proper from a legal perspective to enter into negotiations on claims prior to litigation. And as you know, but there's the no college has evidence. already under It's extreme, allegations. Well, you, you can have your own opinion on the evidence. Everybody does. And that's fine. That's why we wait for the investigation. I said but it's oh, not evidence. It's an allegation. Is, okay, well, Mr. You, Chairman. Okay, the motion... Yeah, trustee M Mr. Chairman, Corkle. did yeah. I just hear uh, Mr. McElmer say that we wait for the conclusion of the investigation before we do anything? That's, Bef that's before the board, anything is going to come back to the board, before the board approves anything, I'm not going to make any decision without actual information before me. Yeah. And you notice there's no time frame on the motion, Trustee Corkle? Yeah, I see that, but okay. I'm, I'm just astonished that we have two lawyers sitting down here that would even let something like this come before us right now. <laughs> All right, thank you. Is there any? All those, Trustee Wagoner. No, uh, that's, I think that's the key question here, is how much is going to occur before the investigation is complete, because that's, I think, key to the whole thing. So, Mr. McAmer, are you saying that you would begin doing some efforts now, any significant efforts? Uh, before the investigation is complete? No, I am in touch with uh, the potential plaintiff's lawyer, and she is uh, encouraging things to occur, and I am looking to this motion to hold that off so that the needs of the board are met in terms of information. 
So you're trying to minimize the cost and manage the situation. There's nothing significant going on until the investigation is complete. Right, that's the way it works. Okay. That's what you do. Thank you. All those in favor of this motion say aye. Uh, I have another thing to bring up. You're gonna negotiate what terms are? Under direction are of the chair. No, it didn't ask you that. It said Thank you. you're, you're uh, negotiating. All those in favor say aye. You're negotiating a dollar amount? Is that what you're negotiating? Usually with uh, people that take leave of an institution, there are various terms. Um, financial terms is only one of them. So I, I don't know the scope this and extent of the terms they might be asking for. For executive session. All those in favor of this motion happen. say aye. I'm hearing. Aye. Aye. I hear two votes for aye. All those opposed say nay. Nay. Okay, the chair votes aye, the motion passes. Is there any other motions before the board? Gosh, I hope not. The board's recessed. All right. Have a nice day. Adjourned. Board's re